Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Rob over at Fuzzy Motion bringing you a little bit of that 8K74U gameplay that you love so much. Uh, we're working with the low kill streaks again this time. We got uh, spy plane, counter spy plane, a little bit of uh, that uh, napalm strike action. And we've got hardline, hardened, and pack mass work, of course. This is right after I prestiged um, and PSN came back, so you notice everything's going to be double what it's normally worth. And I peppered that guy from afar, he kept moving around, giving me the two-step, but I uh, managed to get him before he, uh, he got away. Now, uh, you can see right here, I get shanked from behind, that guy was like a country mile away, like he was nowhere even in my vicinity. But still managed to get the kill, so, whatever. You can see about an epic fail in three. Oh, wait, not yet. Uh, I fail with the knife a couple times here, uh, but the third time I actually do a pretty good job. First time, right here I see a guy coming up in the building, I get out as soon as I can, he doesn't see me exit. So I go up the stairs and swing. <laughs> Nothing there. I managed to pull it out, but uh, that's pretty embarrassing. Um, I don't know, man. The the knife is weird. You know, sometimes it's a big hit, and sometimes you just you lunge from 20 feet out, and you look like an idiot. Uh, it just happens to me quite a few times. And you're gonna see another one. In three, two, one, miss. But I managed to get him anyway. I don't know. Sometimes. Uh, they look really stupid. I spray this guy down, and this guy is actually, his head comes in uh, my line of fire, but I don't manage killing him too. Uh, would have been nice to get a little two-piece there, but whatever. Move on. <clears throat> so, as I come up here in the building, uh, I'm in the office, gun this guy down, and then uh, there's a guy in the back corner, and I'm going to try to shoot him in a minute, but I just don't want to, I just don't want to die. So, I come out, and see if I can't get an angle on him. Uh, but uh, he ran away. There's another missed knife attempt. I, I don't think uh, I was actually trying to knife him. I think what happened was I was trying to run towards him and I just kind of flinched and I ended up knifing for no reason, like an idiot. And again, here with the um, phone in my napalm strike. I don't know what the hell happened where I, I called it in twice and put away the map. I think I saw something and just pressed the wrong button. Who knows? Whatever. And I saw this guy go up the the uh, conveyor belt. I just wait for him to pop out. Yeah, and then I give him a little lead surprise. Call him the spy plane. Love calling in spy planes though, because just keeping the radar up, you know, like I said, helps your teammates out and uh, helps everyone get oriented and acclimated uh, and keeps the other team off balance. Now this guy either had hacker or just knew that I was there, because he just flashbangs me and guns me out right away. Not fooling anyone there, Rob. Great job. So now I'm just running around trying to make things happen. <clears throat> Throwing shit in the air, hoping, praying that it'll randomly hit somebody. You ever find you get hit by those, like, stray grenades? I hate when that happens. You just look at the kill cam and you go, how the hell did that kill me? What, what killed me? And you look and just some dude with a grenade thrown it across the screen. So yeah, I picked up the FAMAS there and it had a, a robust six bullets. So I said, the hell with that, picked up my law again. I figured I'd squeeze off around before I look for another gun, and uh, that got me nowhere. So now I'm just looking around, seeing RxD, RCXD, I don't want to go down there. It wasn't going to give me a chance to shoot down, so now I'm just kind of stuck. Look around, I don't see any action moving, uh, I don't know where to go to, um, and I don't just want to blindly run out uh, without knowing where people are. Uh, and I see a dude die there, so I figure they're behind me. So I exit out the back of the building, I'm looking for uh, some action around this corner. And there goes another expired contract. Sometimes I just forget about them. You ever just forget about contracts you sign up for? Like, oh yeah, that sounds great. I'm going to do that. I'm going to hip fire for every shot. And then you're like ADSing. I totally forgot about your contract. Idiot. Uh, so there's a dude in this building. And I think I'm gonna go inside and oblige in a minute. Oh no, this isn't where I do that. I'm sorry. Um, I actually go underground. And when I come around this corner, I see a dude. I'm gonna give him Christopher Reeves treatment. Sit his ass down right away. But he's not dead yet. And I don't want him to get revived, so I come around the corner and finish his job. Bye bye. I see somebody back here, and. I didn't know whether they went up the, the runway or the ramp or they came down my way. He went up the ramp, so I was looking for him. He went in the building. 
easy kill right there. This guy's distracted. He doesn't even see me in the corner. And I'm not wearing ghosts. He just was not looking in my direction. Uh, when I come back downstairs, I want to call him my uh, napalm strike. I take a moment to do that. And this is actually where I get lucky with the knife. This is actually a 180 turn. And then I get a back step. Sometimes that works out. Sometimes it just, you know, you end up swiping and then he gets away. I, I don't know how that works with the code, but uh, the knife's just very inconsistent. Um, you know, at least in Modern Warfare 2, you always know you're going to get the crazy lunge. And, you know, the knife, that's why knife people, you know, people panic knife so much because they know you get it more often than not. But uh, this game is just so, so strange and inconsistent. I know a bunch of people complained about it. Um, and said that uh, you know they can't knife for some reason while our shitty players panic knife and they get it all the time. It's just you know luck. Whatever you run to first, I think is what, what it's going to come down to. It's rock paper scissors. A very shoddy game of rock paper scissors. And this is me figuring out that uh, the 74U is not a ranged weapon because you cannot win that battle when somebody does have a ranged weapon. And don't worry, I'm going to get a payback right here. Uh, because here at Epic Mealtime, we cook our grenades. Eat that bitch. I love it. Serve it with some Jack Dagnall salt. Hey, if you haven't seen that Epic Mealtime nonsense, you need to go check it out. I'll put a link in the description. That is just fucking glorious. Uh, I saw it the other day. Could not stop laughing. I, I was crying laughing. Um, watch the sushi, uh, the fast food sushi one. Uh, he just says, uh, sushi, fast food, sex, and points at the tray. I piss myself. Alright, now at this point, again, no spy plane up, no blackbird. People aren't dying. I see a red dot in the corner, just looking for some action. And if you see right above there, a dude appeared. So he saw me, and I gun him down. And after I gun him down, the dude that saw me runs around the corner and just gives me the flying knife. Now he has a tactical insertion there. I throw a grenade up just hoping that I'll break the insertion. But he actually dies, and when he respawns, I kill him instead, which is pretty cool. Um, I wasn't expecting to do that, but I just got lucky. I saw a guy over there, tried to gas him out, going for my attack mass achievements. But that dude killed him first, so whatever. Throwing down some claymores, trying to go to work here. Looking for some action. Yeah, that's basically it. You just try to, for this this type of map, you just try to keep cycling around. You don't want to stay in one place too long. You know, you understand you want to hold some positions down and not just let people run train on you. But you, you can't stay in one spot. A lot of people like to camp in that one building in the corner behind us uh, to the right. And I used to like to do that when I, I first got to this map, but then I found out what a you know futile attempt that is. And right now, this is the uh, the benefit of having hardened in those earlier stages to shoot through shit like it isn't even there. Uh, I'm just trying to put up uh, nice spy planes and stuff as I can. Come around the corner, he doesn't even see me. I'm not even looking in that direction. Kind of just moseying around. I used to love having scavenger and just resupplying my uh, my flashbangs, just throwing them up. You get tons of assists. And you know, you're just helping people out because any way you can disorient the enemy. I don't know how I got that lag bullet to hell and he just, he went for the jump. I was gonna throw down a claymore here, but since one of my teammates already threw one down, I, I decided against it. I picked up the ballistic knife because I wanted to be cute and uh, come around this corner and actually get really lucky. Square up with this dude and give him the skewer action. I'm sorry, I forgot my knife at home. Can I borrow one? Sure. We get an napalm strike. And, and right now I'm about to be very stupid. I call it in and kind of just pick a place in the map without looking. And like an idiot, call it in on my own friggin' head. Now it says somebody else killed me, but I'm almost certain after looking at the replay that it's because I called a friggin' napalm strike on my own head. And here's another thing, I'm in a building right now and somehow I'm burning. I don't get how that works. I know I went to the window and like napalm jelly can kind of get on the windowsill and into the building a little bit, but it was almost like it, it was in the building with me, like that is what got napalm strike. I don't understand. So there it is guys, it was a tight match, we were down for part of it, but we ended up pulling it out. 
uh, 7,500 to 6,900. I go 24 and 10, a modest score, nothing crazy. All right, your boy. Peace.